I just remember from Fading West, the Switchfoot documentary, which came out a couple years ago now, right? Yeah. Um, we were talking a little bit in the studio before. You guys are huge surfers, obviously Switchfoot. Um, can you share with us maybe some of your favorite spots, maybe that you guys hit on the Fading West tour that were in the documentary, for, especially for those of us who the closest we get to surfing is the L train. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, who, any surfers out there? I can't, I feel like I can't do it anymore. So yeah. it's like. And there's one in the back too. I see that hand. Um, yeah, surfing in Chicago has got to be a trick. Which you, you know? are going to try to do it tomorrow I, in see, Lake Michigan, by the way. See, the thing is, is <laughs> I feel like that's an experience. I've never surfed in fresh water before. And um, I'm trying to talk. But maybe there's a reason for that. Well, you know, that's, that's true. There's that. My, I'm trying to talk my little brother into coming out and paddling, and paddling out with me. Because we have the opportunity to go surfing. And Tim is, is, is um, his logic, which is not flawed. It's very logical. Is I would rather spend time in an amazing surfing, uh, amazing city. I'd rather spend my time in an amazing city rather than surf crappy waves. Um, you know, we don't get to Chicago that often. One of our favorite cities. Right? But I, I also feel like this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. And he's like, there's a reason why no one surfs in Chicago. We're not exactly a surfing destination. No. Yeah. We, I mean, we've, we surf uh, Bali and, you know, New Zealand, South Africa, all around the world. Why not Chicago? I mean, why not? And but Tim is saying, I'll tell you why not. <laughs> that's, that's our dialogue right now. Get a deep dish pizza first and then see how you <laughs> kill. Thank you. See if yeah. you feel like getting on a board after yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, you ask anyone where's the best deep dish, they all have a different answer. Oh, it, that's like Ready? fighting okay, words. Okay, go. Illuminati! Illuminati. Pequods! Oh. Okay. I, like okay. I got all of that. I'll try them both. Yeah. All right, so we've got to go to Bal Bali. Bali? I can Bali. 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 Bali is a beautiful spot. Yeah? Yeah. It's, it's, um, a lot like Chicago. It's very, yeah, it's, it's very similar. <laughs> I can't think of two places more similar than Bali and Chicago. Um, I know that you guys are really big into various humanitarian causes, charities, um, specifically Habitat for Humanity. I've seen stuff with Invisible Children. Is there one specifically you'd like to talk about right now? Yeah, actually, this tour, um, a buck a ticket goes directly to the Switchfoot Broam Foundation, which helps out homeless and at-risk youth in our hometown of San Diego. This is the fifth year? This is the... 13th year. 13th year. Yeah. Sorry. No, it's, it's crazy. It's this event. <clears throat> There's like, how many people show up, Tim? I, I can never believe the number. More than two. More than two. <laughs> no, I, I think 18,000 was the, the wow. number this last year. And it's, 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 it's not the biggest beach, and so it's just packed. Every time it's I like, think the city's like going to shut us down. It's on a, on a small beach. Let's yeah. go. Our, when should we book our flights? Yeah, it's yeah. in July, and it raises money for these incredible kids. And, um, and the city has, has really gotten behind it. And we've got, like, Rob Machado. We've had all sorts of different pro surfers that I'm going to name their names, and you wouldn't know who they are. I'm trying to think of bands. Um, we've had... Uh, Young the Giant. Johnny, we know them. Johnny Resnick. Um, Chris Schiffler from the Foo Fighters. Every, every year it's just this amazing list of people that show up and they don't get paid. They just play because they believe in what's going on and helping the kids. It's pretty special. Yeah, so that's, that's one of the things that we're doing on this tour, which is really cool. We're, we partnered with VH1 and we've supplied an entire school that didn't have music for like more than a decade and now they've got a music program. So that's pretty amazing to go in there. That's and, incredible. And music is, for me, um, this, this gateway. It's this vehicle to, to talk about things you can't talk about any other way. So to be able to pass that on to the next generation is just astounding to that we could get to do that. Um, and then the other thing is uh, we're partnering with this organization called Cure.org, and they provide surgeries for kids with disabilities in countries that generally can't afford it, like um, for, for club foot or or uh, um, cleft palate, or hydrocephalus, different things that in the States are just, it's just taken care of. And um, these kids have lived with it for years, and then a surgery happens, and their life is changed, and now they can walk for the first time. I mean, it's, it's phenomenal. So um, those are the two things we're trying to 
trying to do this this tour. Amazing. Uh, I love that you guys have such a big heart and you really make a difference and you use your position to do that, which is just amazing. It's big fun. Thing. I mean, it's it's crazy because at the end of the tour, you can look at it and be like, yeah, so far, I mean, we've already had more than 20 kids that their lives will be different. Just in the first week of tour, you're like, that's insane that these kids will, their lives will never be the same. And not that rock and roll did it, but we left more than just confetti on the floor. You know what I mean? That feels good. Exactly. Uh, since we touched on Fading West, is there any other plans for another film, another documentary besides Snapchat? Which Switchfoot is now on, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> We've taken our c cinematography skills on it. Right oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah. <laughs> this is just happening right here. Apparently, Chicago, say hi to the rest of the world. Welcome to the 101 WKQX Sound Lounge. <laughs> we'll talk about this later, Tim. <laughs> Do not snap while we're playing. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I'm not sure. Film. Are we making any? We're probably going to make. We, we just celebrated our, our 20th year as a band. Right. So we'll probably yeah. do something about that. Yeah. I think the typical 20th anniversary present is China. China. You all want to. When you said that, I, I heard Donald Trump say China. <laughs> um, Ew. I know. No, it's just. Have you seen that video? No. It's like. It's this viral video of him saying China. You don't need to see it, okay. but that's what I heard. He says it a lot. I'm never going to say that word again. Yeah. Thanks, John. <laughs> <laughs> we can all boycott the word China. Yeah. No, um, I also, I, last year I did this thing where I played 25 shows in 24 hours, and we're going to release that as a documentary. Okay. So What's that going to be called? Crazy Man? If, yeah. <laughs> if you th think of something better, uh, right now it's, the working title is 25 and 24. Okay. Is that, were you, is that a world record? It has to be, right? It was something. Okay. Yeah. We, yeah. Well, you live to tell the tale. We're very excited. Yeah. We'll no, it was fun. It was a blast. All right.